What's up guys, Sean here, and today I have a special video for you guys. We're gonna be experimenting with heat anodizing some titanium scales. Now these are custom milled by my buddy Anthony. These are the flytanium titanium scales, and he did a jigged pattern and a false bolster on these for me, and he also heat anoded them, and they look really cool, but I actually wanted to try to blacken these so um, if you heat up titanium and then quench it in uh, WD-40 I don't know if there's any other substitutes that will also work but I know WD-40 will actually blacken the titanium so we're gonna give that a try and I figured I'll throw the camera on so you guys can be part of this experiment with me Okay guys, so the items that you're going to need is a lighter, some tongs that do not have rubber coating on the end. You want them to just be metal. You're going to want to get yourself a, a pan, something like this, so you can help keep the mess to a minimum and also get the most out of your WD-40, which is another item you're going to need. You also will want some 91% isopropyl alcohol, or you can use dish soap. Um, you know, either or works, but I like isopropyl alcohol. And you're gonna need yourself a little propane stove like this, or a propane torch. So um, the nozzle on my propane torch broke, so we're gonna be using the propane stove, but um, I think I might like the stove better. It helps you to more evenly heat the surface of the scales. So I think it might actually work out better. So anyways, first step. First thing you wanna do is get these very, very clean. You wanna get any dirt, oils, anything like that off of the surface because that is gonna affect the coloration of the titanium. So what I did was I sprayed these with the Dawn Power Wash dish soap and I scrubbed them with a brush and rinsed them off. So I thoroughly cleaned these on both front and back of both scales. And then I spray them with the 91% alcohol and wipe them down for a final cleaning because that really, that'll help get up anything that the dish soap was not able to get. And once you have these clean, you really don't want to touch these without gloves, but my box of gloves has gone missing. So you guys who uh, live at home with women or, you know, even worse, maybe an ex-girlfriend, you know how the stuff like that goes. So yeah, no gloves for me today, but that's all right. So we're going to fire up the stove, get these heated up and go from there. And don't light yourself on fire. I'm glad I got that on camera because you guys at home are probably laughing your ass off. That scared the shit out of me. All right, eyebrows are still intact. You don't need this thing turned up all the way. You know, just like a low flame is good. And start off with the back side of these scales. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold them with the tongs. And we're gonna do one last cleaning. Spray it with the 91% alcohol. Don't spray it in your flame or, see, very flammable. I'll go ahead, wipe this off. And let's get started. So essentially, you're gonna heat these up until you see the coloration in the titanium start to change. 
or you'll visually be able to see that the titanium is getting hot and you don't want to let it sit in one spot kind of want to keep it moving maybe we'll turn her up a little bit Flip her over. Once you get this really hot, then we're going to spray it with the WD-40 and that is going to quench it and that's essentially what does the coloration. So move this back a little bit. Alright, so we can see that they're starting to change color, starting to darken up. And what we're going to do, get the WD-40 ready, shake it up, hold it over top of this pan, and Now, you know, it may be more effective to, um, hold on. might be more effective to dunk these in WD-40 instead of spraying it on, but I don't want to use this whole can. And that's kind of why I'm doing it over top of this pan to try to catch it as we use it. And shake this up because it sprayed out pretty weak. And you guys might want to do this in a ventilated area instead of doing it inside. Uh, I'm sure it's probably not good to breathe this in, but you know what they say. Do as I say, not as I do. This is kind of one of those deals. So, you know. But let's take a look at what's going on here so far. Pretty interesting. So... It has now changed to like a gunmetal gray color. Very, very interesting. So I'm going to give these a rinse and go from there. Spray it down with the isopropyl alcohol. Use one of these clean paper towels. Yeah, they're still really hot, so be careful you don't burn yourself. Okay, so right now it's looking 
uglier than it did when we first started. However, we're not done yet. So we're, uh, you know, I don't give up that easy. So it, there is some spots that are darker than others, which hopefully by the end of this, it is not like that, but we'll see. Oh, when you're getting your uh, propane stove lighted, or when you're lighting your propane stove, make sure you kind of keep your head back so you don't lose an eyebrow. Oh. going to get a little cup to spray the WD-40 into so we can um, actually dunk it in the WD-40 and for that I'm going to be using a porcelain mug because that um, uh, you're not able to burn it uh, like you would with plastic and then have plastic residue on here so Back to where we started. This is one of those things that's kind of a uh, longer process. You want to be patient with it. You don't want to rush it because that is, you know, how you make things not turn out the way you want. Oh, that is really cool, guys. Look at this. Look at the color it's turning. So now we're getting some blue and all kinds of stuff in there. definitely thinking the propane stove is the way to go because you can heat up a much larger area all at once. I think we're going to try using the nozzle this time. All right, see how it's looking. Damn it, making a mess, guys. I don't want to mess up this hang. Get any more fucking WD 40 on it, so. Moving that back. I like to keep my area clean, so we're clean as we go. 
Um, this is this is definitely something that you would, you know, probably rather do outside, but it's uh it's very windy outside right now, so the audio would be horrible. Okay, now we're gonna try something a little different. Filling this cup up with the WD-40. That way it's not able to just burn it all off as it hits it and it should make less of a mess. So, fire the stove back up. This time I'm gonna try it without cleaning in between and just let it burn the WD-40 off of it. Starting to darken up. Going for a dunk. Oh snap. All right, so that gives us more of an even color guys. But it also burns off your WD-40. So, yeah, I think we're, we might end up going through more WD-40 than we initially planned to. And you might as well just dump it into this pan because, yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to fill this pan up with the rest of this can. And I'll just have to get another can of WD-40. Alright, so we loaded this pan up. Completely covers the scale. And I'm actually going to clean these. Um, clean these off. So I don't want any contaminants on these. Oh, don't want to lose the handle. 
I don't want any contaminants on these tongs to affect the scale. Oh, we're starting to get black. Look at that. That is pretty freaking cool. Flip it over. Oh, look at that Spiderco logo. Hope you guys can see that. All right, guys, we're about to dunk it. I'm just gonna drop it in here. Pretty interesting. Check that out, guys. All right, I think I'm actually gonna let that one sit in there for a couple minutes. And we'll start heating this one up.
guys. Gonna dunk it. Feel like a mad scientist right now. guys so here's how they're looking so far yes I know not very impressive however we um we aren't giving up and I'm gonna let the fumes in here die down a little bit and then we're gonna get back to it so take a quick little break and then we will be right back 